Future Arch Primitive Primitive tools are located in Create Section, Geometry and Future Arch Primitives item. Here we have five basic primitive tools Box, Sphere, Pipe, Cylinder and Arch Section. Primitives and Future Arch plugin uh, has pretty much the same output as uh, original primitive tools, but uh, they, they have some additional features which makes them superior over the 3D Studio Max tools. So let's say uh, when we create a box tool with standard primitive box tool from 3D Studio Max, uh, after creation phase is started in viewport, we are forced to use the tool only in this single active viewport and we cannot, we cannot uh, set any other parameter from 3D Studio Max such as length, width or height or set the snapping or anything until we drop the creation phase of the tool. This is different in primitive tools from Future Arch plugin because when we start creation phase with our primitive tool we can adjust any handle in any viewport so we are not forced to use it only in active viewport and we can set any parameter uh, from the rec panel such as width, length, height or any parameter we can set uh, also any uh, global settings from, uh, from 3D Studio Max such as snapping so we can activate snapping now we can disable snapping or set material, apply material on object, practically any any parameter. And this is valid until we drop the tool and the uh, creation phase uh, is ended then. Next and most important feature in these primitive tools are real-time booleans. Real-time booleans works on already existing objects, so first I will create some box. Uh, we can select one or more objects and then when we use any primitive tool on this selected object with append to selection mode, then we can use uh, real-time boolean mode. Real-time boolean works differently uh, for 2D mode and 3D mo mode of the uh, primitive tool. So first, uh, when we uh, use it in a 2D mode, uh, we can switch into 2D mode by clicking into 2D button. So now the primitive tool doesn't have uh, define the height of the tool or depth of the tool. And in 2D mode, uh, these three boolean modes means in add mode. Uh, we are slicing selected object in subtract mode we are drilling through the object with no depth defined and with intersect we are intersecting through the object once we define the uh, depth or height of the uh, of the primitive then the booleans are reverted into uh, uh, regular uh, 3D booleans. So in add mode we are we are adding or unifying objects. Uh, in subtract mode we are subtracting uh, primitive from the selected object and intersect is intersect boolean mode. And in the second half of this video, I'll show you each individual primitive tool and its uh, basic modes. So I'll start with uh, box tool. In box tool, uh, we can create box primitive or pyramid primitive. And uh, when using 2D mode, we can create a polygonal rectangle or a four point polygon. Um, box tool has three uh, basic modes basic handle modes so uh, in center mode the pivot point of the tool is always in the center and any any usage of the handles or parameters 
the object is stretched from the center to two sides up or down or left and right uh, in corner mode the pivot point of the tool is automatic and it, it is always set to opposite side of the active handle so when I click into uh, top right handle the pivot point is automatically set to down left uh, down left side if I if I click to right down the handle the pivot point is set to opposite side so up and left uh, this is very handy because now when I adjust the width or length the object is stretched from this automatic pivot uh, last mode is rotate mode in rotate mode we have two uh, rotation handles and uh, some edge handles and here uh, also the automatic uh, pivot point is set to opposite side but uh, it has only two two places uh, on uh, this start and end handle so when we set the automatic pivot point here and uh, when adjusting width the object is stretched into this direction if I set the automatic uh, pivot point into opposite side when adjusting new numeric panel width the object is stretched into another uh, direction. So with these automatic pivots and uh, uh, a lot of handles we can uh, place the box uh, primitive uh, very precisely on any uh, on any place in the scene. Next uh, cylinder tool. With cylinder tool we can create uh, three basic uh, primitives uh, cylinder, cone or tube. Uh, when tube a primitive is uh, enabled, uh, we can set uh, all the offset of the tube or thickness. And for all three primitives, we can set uh, set a size per segment uh, number, which defines the detail of the of the primitive. Cylinder two has a four basic handle modes. Uh, first uh, radius. Uh, in radius mode we have some center handle and a radius handle. In diameter mode we have two diameter handles, two opposite handles, which defines the uh, diameter and center handle. Uh, in a three point mode we have a cylinder defined by three handles and the center. Uh, last one is a elliptic mode. Uh, with elliptic mode, we can create elliptical cylinder or, or cone or tube. Next primitive is a sphere. Sphere primitive has uh, identical handle modes as a cylinder, and it creates a sphere object or ellipsoid, depending on which uh, handle mode we are using. So it has radius mode, uh, diameter mode sphere defined by two uh, diameter handles three point mode where when we define this uh, sphere with three points and with elliptical handle mode we define the ellipsoid next tool is arc section uh, with these two we can create a simple arc section object uh, it can have a inverted mode. Uh, in inverted mode, we can uh, define uh, inverted radius on or normal mode, and uh, we can set also side per segment uh, option, which defines detail of the curved part. Uh, this tool has uh, three basic handle modes. First, a three point mode. Uh, the arc section is defined by three handles and center. Uh, next is a tangent mode. Uh, in tangent mode, we have two tangent handles and center. And last one is a angle mode. Uh, in angle mode, uh, we have a two angle handles, radius angle and center handle. Last tool is a pipe tool. 
with pipe tool we can create uh, several types of pipes and handles it has uh, two basic uh, profile modes. Uh, first is a square and second is a circle. In ci circle uh, profile mode uh, we can define all the sides per segment uh, which means uh, detail of the uh, circle of the pipe. We can also adjust uh, diameter or width of the pipe. Uh, pipe tool has Two di three different uh, handle ra railing handle modes. Uh, first one is a li line tool or polyline tool, where a pipe is uh, extruded through the polyline. Uh, second is a curve mode. In curve mode, uh, the pipe is a NURBS curve with control points. Uh, we can define uh, the parameter of each control point uh, with holding uh, shift key and moving uh, mouse so we can change the weight of the control point. We can do it as well uh, through a numeric panel parameter here but uh, much convenient is to use uh, holding, holding shift key on the keyboard and uh, adjusting this parameter directly in viewport. And uh, third mode is a pipe pipe mode. In this mode it is um, again only polyline pipe but uh, the corners of the uh, polyline uh, uh, are rounded with, uh, with uh, defined uh, radius. Also these radius we can control with a holding shift key and change the corners radius of the pipe. Pipe tool uh, can, can use also offset mode uh, so when enabled, uh, offset mode is enabled, the uh, pipe is offset from the plane. Uh, also, we can change that offset through the numeric panel. And uh, with this offset mode, we can very easily uh, create uh, different types of handles. So, very neat, uh, very neat feature. It works also in uh, line mode, curve mode, or pipe mode.